Meghalaya is known for the longest and deepest caves in India, some of them even featuring in the World Caves List. The Meghalaya caves are primarily limestone ones and have some freshwater streams running through them. Meghalaya comprises of three hill regions, Khasi, Jantia and Garo Hills. I am going to take you to one of the unexplored caves in Khasi Hills called Arva Caves. A little offbeat, but well worth your time. The pathway that leads to Arva Caves is a beautiful wooden bridge. From this very point, you can forget everything and embark on an experience you never had before. As soon as you step into the bridge, you are transported to another place altogether with the views of unending Khasi Hills and the waterfalls cascading down. It is very beautiful, nature at its best. It is home to the largest group of insects, tall trees with many insects in their natural habitats. If you will listen closely, you can actually hear many different sounds given out by the insects. There is also a resting platform on the way to the cave where you can stand and enjoy the view and click pictures or get on the swing. The entrance to the cave is rupees 20 per adult and rupees 10 for children. For cameras, you will need to pay rupees 50, while for cell phone photography, it is rupees 20. Arva caves are not lit in certain sections. Please ensure you have a torch with you when you visit these caves. Wear comfortable flat shoes that can work well in water. The entire cave has an underground stream running through it. There are a lot of slippery surfaces within the cave. Stay clear of areas that have been marked as out of bounds. Carry a light raincoat while exploring as there is water dripping even from the roofs of the cave. There are restrooms at the entrance of the cave. A small wash area for you to rinse your hands and feet is also available here. You can find a small shop with refreshments in the parking lot of the caves. As explained by a boat kept at the entrance of the Arva Caves, the carbon seeps through the decaying plant life through the gaps of the limestone surface along with the water. This water keeps depositing this calcium carbonate into the walls and slowly these become caves. The entire geological process takes place over millions of years. The key highlight of the Arva Caves is the various fossils that you can spot along its walls. Mollusk shells and fish bones were primarily what I identified here. Now I'll tell you how to reach Arva Caves. The most common route taken is Guwahati to Shillong, then Shillong to Therapunri and then Therapunri to Arva Caves. For budget travellers, you can travel from Guwahati to Shillong in shared sumos which leaves from Guwahati Paltan Bazaar stand or you can catch the sumo at Thanapara. The ticket may cost Rs. 170 per person. From Shillong, another shared sumo will take you to Therapunri town. In Therapunri, there are a few hotels and homestays. We stayed in a homestay near the Eco Park. To know more about such incredible places and things to do in Northeast India, follow and subscribe my channel. Thank you.